Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Crash Helmet Formula 1. As you may notice, we have a new face in the studio tonight. New face, introduce yourself. I'm Patrick, and I'm the editor and videographer of this podcast, and I'm stepping in for Josh today. Um, that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. He has a bit of F1 knowledge, so we should make two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I do a bit, but not much. <laughs> I'm Vint McGuinness. And I'm Evan Kearns. You obviously recognise me for watching <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't. <laughs> yeah. So, gentlemen, Bahrain this weekend. Yep, Bahrain's coming up this weekend. Any thoughts? I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I, th- I actually look forward to Bahrain more than I do to the actual season opener, because the last few last few seasons Bahrain's been a fantastic Grand Prix with it being changed to the night race. Yeah, you can actually race there now without the tires falling off a cliff after one corner. I genuinely believe it's it's Australia's. It's exciting as it's the opening race, but yeah, it's not a good race. <laughs> Tractors and super new cars. Yeah. On the talk of exciting opening races, how do you think Haas will fare out in Bahrain? I can see Haas doing well. I can still see them doing well. Like in two thousand sixteen, they did a great start of the first ever season, and they got off. They got off to a very well, a very good start. With what did they finish? Sixth place or fifth place with Grosjean? Either uh, or. Yeah. Six, six, six in Australia. Six in Australia. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I can I can still see them definitely being the top ten. Yeah. Without a doubt. What do you think? It's hard to say. You know. <laughs> Because like they kind of had a good start to last the past couple of seasons in Australia, and then we're nowhere. Yeah, but this year it seems different. It's like the car looks the, tidier. It does. I think they'll probably end up. They'll end the season behind Renault, but they are ahead of Force India as it stands, and they're ahead of Williams. They're ahead of Cyber. They're ahead of Tara Rosso. Tenth, like they're tenthish, I'd say. Like ten to fifteen, I think that's where Haas are. They had, they were always good in Australia, but most time and. I think they just fall off after that again, yeah. I think they'll be about 10 to 15 this yeah, weekend. Yeah, scraping the to the points. Like. Yeah. yeah. Still, it's all right for a team, for a customer team. It's very good for a customer team. McLaren, I think, yeah, I think McLaren and Renault will definitely jump them. Yeah. Without a doubt, McLaren and Renault will definitely jump them. Yeah. Well, yeah. McLaren are supposedly bringing a good raft of updates. They were saying... Oh, plenty. I plenty. hear there's plenty. I hear there's plenty from an unknown source. An unknown source, there's plenty of updates coming yeah, into the pipeline. Like the barge boards are known about, they're well known about. But there's plenty more though that we can't speak about. We can't speak about, no. Yeah. But we do know, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Useless information that's ever received. You'll find out after Bahrain. <laughs> Where do we think Red Bull will be? Um, I don't think I don't see them being as competitive as they were in Australia. It doesn't suit them as a track. Will Renault or McLaren get the jump on them? No. Not no. yet. No. Not yet. So do you think there still is that massive gulf between the top two and the rest of the pack? No, no, I think I think Red Bull are kind of stuck in this no-man's land behind Ferrari and Mercedes where they're not quite good enough to beat them in a straight fight, but they're enough enough ahead of um, Renault and McLaren. They're, yeah. in a, they're in a no-man's land, and whether they'll move forward or the other teams will catch them, I don't know. Plus, I think Red Bull have the best drivers in the grid nearly, to Verstappen and Ricardo, I think, are probably the best drivers. It's a very solid liner. It is a very so solid. I think very solid in terms like Renault, Hulkenberg, and Sainz, they're they're good, but I don't think they're well, quite up there yet. Arguably, though, Sainz is going to replace either Ricardo or Verstappen, so you would hope he's as good at Red Bull. Yeah, I know Sainz is with Renault for the long run. I don't think Sainz will go he, back to any Red Bull he's still, team. He's still Red Bull driver though. He has he's, it on the helmet. Yeah, he's on. He's, he's on loan to oh, really? Renault. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It wasn't just a complete. Fuck you. Fuck you. He's still on loan to, yeah. to Russell. It was well, kind of, Red Bull. Yeah, it was kind of like a swap for we still want to use Renault engines, so we'll give you a more or less a driver for cheap. That's better than Julian Palmer. <laughs> 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 well, anyone's better than Palmer. Yeah. yeah. Um. So what? What do we think? Have we any um? Strange predictions for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Kimi Räikkönen in second place. Kimi Räikkönen in second place. I think that's a good. That's a good show. What uh, do you think? Yeah, I think Kimi podium anyway. Kimi's been very good recently in in Bahrain. It's hard to judge off one race though, but I do feel like Kimi is going to win a race this year. He had that's a good. He had a good prediction. testing though. Mm. And he had a great Australia. He had a great Australia. He like, I know Vettel beat him, but Kimi beat Vettel in. Everything else, but and everything race. else but the race. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. Everything else except the time it counted. Yeah, well, well, he was happened, quicker. That in the race. happens a lot with Kimi, though. He doesn't yeah. pull through in the last hurdle. I feel like no, he's, he had the pace to beat Vettel. He in did. That race. He did, but he, he just, just got unlucky with the yeah. VSC. But that's the story of Kimi's Ferrari career as of late. I feel like he's just not that quite there. Yet. Yeah, he had two thousand and seven, where he literally blew his load of luck in the last three <laughs> races, where he came from seventeen <laughs> points behind to win by one point, and yeah. now it's now he's paying back. 
Yeah. <laughs> were they in the new point system back then, or were they still in the old point system? It was still a ten points for a win. Yeah, eight. that's that's even more impressive. Like to come back. Yeah, to come back from seventeen points, it was very good. Yeah. But um, what do we think of what do we think Ferrari going to do in Bahrain this weekend? Can we see them getting closer to Mercedes, or can we see Mercedes pulling away from them? Well, the fact I've put Raikkonen in second, I would say <laughs> I would say they're fairly close. So who do you think is going to be first in the race? Ah, oh, as born a fucking prediction this is, it's going to be Hamilton. I think I it, I. One to Mercedes. No, I'm going to say Bottas on pole though. I'm going to say it here now. The rest of the season, I'm not going to put Hamilton on pole once <laughs> in any of my predictions. <laughs> Fuck, so you're going to be wrong a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but when he does get it right, he looks like a genius. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think it'll be another easy pole for Hamilton. I think. Uh, I think it's going to be a front row lockout for Mark. I feel Bottas has a lot to prove this race as well after his mess up last race. So I feel like he he's going to be yeah. second. Oh, he, has to, oh, he George, has to. Push. George Russell's breathing down his neck. Well, um, so for my, I think my podium prediction for Bahrain, I'm gonna go Hamilton win. I think he's gonna get it all right in Bahrain. I don't know. For second, I can actually honestly see Kimi getting second place. For yeah. some reason, I can see Kimi getting second place in the race, and I can see um, who was that I was saying? I th- I think Vettel will get third place as well because Vettel is just consistent. I I can see Bottas's um confidence being hit now after. He wasn't very good in the race. Like I know he can't overtake in Australia, and I know that Mercedes isn't very good in dirty air. Yeah. But he wasn't. He wasn't fantastic in um in, in the Australian Grand Prix. But yeah, that's that's my top three for the race anyway. Ball position. Well, Hamilton, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Yeah, Hamilton again. Uh, I said my that. podium. I'd say Hamilton again, probably winning the race. Uh, Bottas second, Kimi third. Kimi third. Vettel not on the podium. Nah. It's funny, I don't see him on the podium this weekend either. No. Bahrain isn't really attracted to it, so. Has he won Bahrain? Ever? Who? 2011? Who? Vettel? Vettel, yeah. He won it last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did win it last year. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> he did win it last year. Historically yeah. speaking, though, he's not had a great Bahrain. No, no. No, he has. How many wins has he? These lads, you're way I off the ball. Remember. You're way off the ball at this place. Sure, he won it. I think he was leading in 2010 until his engine blew up and Alonso went on to win the race. Yeah. He definitely won it in 2012. Yeah. Uh, I'm nearly 100% sure he won it in 2013. 2014 was Hamilton, 2015 was... I can't remember any Bahrain Grand Prix's Grand Prix's apart from 2014. <laughs> the Grand Prix. <laughs> That's actually a point we should talk about. Yeah, I can't Bahrain, remember. 2014. What a race, lads. Yeah, I watched it the other day just to overtake on boards and I was like... Yeah, it's it's one of the best races we've had in years. Of the, the hybrid area, definitely. Oh, definitely. Of the hybrid area, it's definitely one of the best races. Toto Wolf said after the race that he had a, a journalist come to him and say, um, thank you for what you did for Formula 1, it's really brilliant. And Toto didn't understand what he was talking about because he was so nervous and he was still shaking after the race. But obviously what the journalist <laughs> meant was, thank you for letting your two drivers race, race. against yeah. each other. Yeah, after. And, and it really did. It was well, to be fair, like for the past four seasons, I've had nobody else to race. So... <laughs> Needed to do it. It was a bit like 2014 was a bit of a 1988 season with the M- McLaren MP44. Side bets for the weekend, lads. Side bets for the weekend. Yeah. Um, who finishes top, Cyber or Toro Rosso? Who finishes? Uh, I can see Cyber beating Toro Rosso. It's, it's there's so many long straights in Bahrain, yeah. and Toro yeah. Rosso's he- uh, Toro Rosso's engine, as we know, is obviously Honda. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so what's the deal with that? Do people think Honda is still really bad? Like, they're they, shocking they're, I, obviously speed wise but I, everyone was talking testing about how greatly they've improved and stuff well, no, like they this built, they built one engine and they used that one engine for all of testing so they built one good engine so supposedly now the rest of them is going to be shit for the rest of the year if it was a good engine does that mean it was a dud considering it was Honda standards arguably yes because <laughs> <laughs> we got to, we got to Australia and uh, Gasly blew up in like lap 15 or something yeah, yeah. no yes yeah, it, was, it was early in the race anyway yeah. it blew up coming out of turns t- Coming out of turn twelve. No, was it not Hartley blew up? It was Hartley blew up. Yeah, yeah. and Gasly was no, lapped. Hart- no, Hartley finished the race. Did Hartley finished the race. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he was lapped anyway. It's one oh, of Hartley was one lapped. Of them yeah. was lapped. Yeah. 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 It's kind of. But I'm gonna I'm gonna predict a kind of an outlier for the race. Go on. Are you ready? Go on. Stroll will get points. How many? One. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, to like. Williams is terrible but there's ah, so many long like, straights so it's, Sorokin's not beating Stroll <laughs> he's has been to fuck off and he says Hamilton's not going to get any poles for the entire season <laughs> <laughs> and? fair enough 
Have you an outlier vote? An outlier uh, prediction? No, oh, not really. No, I don't know. I'm going to say Sergio Perez finishes behind Charles Leclerc. Really? Yeah. That's. I cannot wait to see what Leclerc does now in the second weekend. I'm buzzing for him. It is. I love the kid. And I, considering having come from Prima in F2 yeah. into Cyber, his first race for, for Cyber coming from Prima was a lot better than what Giovinazzi managed. Oh, absolutely. He's a lot better than Giovinazzi. Yeah. I think Giovinazzi's career is fucked now, considering how much he blew his first two chances. China, yeah. China fucked it for him. Oh, China he really did a good him. first race, didn't he? Giovinazzi. Yeah, he did a, yeah, he did all right in Australia, but then he got to China and he dumped, he dumped it in the it wall. Twice, didn't yeah. he? Same spot yeah. in qualifying and in the race. But, but have we got any um, really really strange predictions for Bahrain I think Sorokin will do well a wet race I don't particularly like <laughs> a wet race a wet Bahrain. race that would be crazy <laughs> sprinklers sprinklers yeah uh, <laughs> Bernstein <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, yeah I suppose that's kind of about it really that's about it, yeah so we've given our predictions Hamilton for Paul from all of us apart from Finton obviously Has Hamilton broadcast. win from all of us yeah Kimi on the podium from all of us Alonso will do well again. Do you think McLaren are going to do well? I yeah. think McLaren are going to finish. Fuck it, I'll go and say it. I'm going to say one of the McLarens beats one of the Ferrari. No, one Red of the Bulls. <laughs> one of the Red Bulls, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see Alonso beating Verstappen. Yeah. I, I see Verstappen see. having a good race, actually, because he had a, shock and a shocker last weekend. So that's our Bahrain uh, preview. Bit all, over the, bit all over the place, but we gave a bit of a stab at it. Oh, hopefully the race is more exciting than this was. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe. Right.